Women's soccer hosting Senior Day before their game against WestCon, honoring Kaylee Haynes, Maria Spilios, Danny Anderson, Kelly McNeil, Elena Keeley, Gina Albano, Sage Story, and Lindsay Buscarin before taking on WestCon, who is 5-0-1 in Little East Conference play this year, ranking second in the LEC. A tough task for the Beacons, who with wins their final two games in the LEC Conference play, can clinch a home playoff game right back here next week. And Sarah Kelly would look to get the scoring started early for the Beacons against Kristen Rossler, who was in net for the first half. That one was a nice save there. And then another shot on goal is ended up turning into a foul on the Beacons. And then Kaylee Haynes gets the scoring start in the 15 minute on senior day. Danny Anderson knocks this pass in front of the net. And Haynes somehow knocks it loose from Rossler, puts it in the back of the net. Beacons up 1-0 on Haynes. Third goal of the year, the assist going to Anderson who knocked it into play. And then Sarah Kelly, yet again, with the scoring chance here in the first half. She was aggressive early on, down the right side of the pitch, and knocks it in front. Roster with a nice diving save there, jumps on it. But then after that, puts the ball back in play, and then Kalia Eaton, a smart play, gets in there. Cameras don't catch it because they didn't see it coming. And Eaton knocks this one into the back of the net. And the Beacons, with Eaton's third goal of the year, in just the 16th minute, just a few seconds after the Haynes goal, unassisted, are up 2-0 on WestCon. And Maria Spilio stayed strong in net, which was key for the Beacons to be in this position ahead by two. Another nice diving save by Spilios there. Keeps the Beacons in front 2-0. But then the Beacons would go right back to work on the offensive end, and it would be Kaylee Haynes yet again. How about that for her senior day? Out there on open ground, gets by Rossler for her fourth goal of the season, second of the game, and we're just going to let this one play out. Haynes celebrating with her teammates and then runs off the field and is going to go and high-five the entire line of teammates waiting there on the sidelines. Haynes fired up the Beacons with an offensive clinic in the first half, up 3 to nothing on WestCon, a complete stunner for the Wolves, who came into this game ranked second in the Little East Conference, trying to keep pace with Southern Maine, who was undefeated. But the WestCon offense wouldn't go quietly in the second half, but before that, you see Haynes here yet again, looking for the hat trick, nearly gets it home at the end of the first half. And then Maria Spilios, it would be all her in the second half, keeping this lead at three. Maya Crows here, On the free kick, and Spilios with a nice save in front keeps it a three-goal game. And then yet again, WestCon's going to have a scoring opportunity with Emma Sonsky. And Spilios there again keeps it in play. And then again, from the right side of the pitch, Spilios, a header in front, redirected. She's there to make the stop. And then a nice dive right there to break up the play in the Beacons. Despite getting outshot 21-13, to 10 shots apiece on goal for each team, they're bouncing in Beaconville. As the Beacons pull off the upset and are now one win away from being able to host a home playoff game next week in the first round of the Little East Conference Tournament.